My Vax Air Cordless Duo is now refurbished. Spotlessly clean, ready to go, although as you can tell we are missing a key component which is sat in this bag. Let me tell you how I broke it and we'll stick it back together and see how it works after a full refurbishment. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes. Saw this very recently when we repaired, or when we used it to troubleshoot that completely dead one that had the blown thermal fuse sat under here. Well, after that, I had it straight apart, washed it, polished it, reassembled it, and now it is almost apart from some scuff marks here and there because Vax insists on using painted plastics rather than just plastics. It is great, works possibly really well. It has some suction. Oh. But not much because these sadly aren't actually that powerful. I mean, the Dyson V11 is 500 and something watts. This is 192 and it does show. Suction wise, it is absolutely flipping appalling. I mean, I've got some tools. This is the bag I put all of the bits in while I started tapping around with it. I've got the tools, I have this triple not even double triple got a crevice tool dusting brush and awful upholstery tool set but we can pop that on now that sits there and obviously clips onto the hose which i'm going to do now just to double check it is yeah the right part so yeah it has tools and it will probably pick up very light dust this is a horrible tool, as I'm sure you remember from the before video. It's so loose, and yet I don't think it's had that much use. As soon as you angle it nicely, and oh, I'll just push down, it ends up going all over the shop. It is not a very nice tool. It's a great design. The dusting brush is absolutely beautiful. In fact, I think I did have somewhere a small dusting brush for this, but I cannot find it yet. I, I, I must find that before I sell this. But yeah, lovely dusting brush, crud design. I won't swear. Awful design, but that's with it as well. Obviously, we have its charger. <gasps> Nothing unique about that. And yeah. It's not bad. Apart from, I broke it. Yes, it does happen. Put that up on. There we go. Yes, I broke it, as you can tell by the complete lack of brush roll. I was taking it apart, popping the end caps out because they were clogged up with fluff. Then one end snapped and it was game over. So I hunted around on the internet. And I did find some for sale actually, all the usual spare parts, places sell them. And you know, they're, they're not expensive until you've had them posted. I was finding them for 13, 14 quid plus post. You can tell this one, direct from Vax, it was. Hopefully this tells me the cost. No, it doesn't tell me the cost. I can't remember. This is about $14.99 with free postage. Although, despite them sending it raw mail 48 hour, it took an absolute sodding age to come. So I have no idea why it took so long. Here it is. Look, brand new shiny brush on. It was this end that I had the issues with. The bearing sits under there and there's a plastic rod that obviously goes through the bearing. That just snapped off. This end popped off very easily. That end snapped. I'm not gonna do it now because I haven't got the 15 quid. So yeah, it was very reasonable. No idea what a panther is though. 
Vax Panther, Panther Plus even. Who knows? So part of me thinks it, it, it came direct from China rather than being held in the UK. I'll be honest. I think it would have come from China, then gone to Vax, who then shipped it out to me. Which is why it took so sodding long to come. It's a shame, because I was hoping to have this gone by now. But hey-ho, here we are. Let's get it fitted. Because the thing with this machine is that the brush roll does all of the work. It is a really stiff brush roll, very stiff bristles. And it's this that really does all of the hard work. The suction pulls it away. So, and obviously it is, it is a fabulous suction. So this would be no good for, you know, really dirty places, but perfectly fine for light wet rounds. And that basically just sits there like that. Look nice and shiny and spotless. You can see the red now on the little accented part, which you couldn't before. It's typical Vaxis. Millions of little tiny pieces, but yeah, all of which are full of dust and crud. It's all see through now underneath, and in theory. Now works very, very well indeed. I, mean, I don't want to get too dirty, but it is surprisingly good. Just doing that look, it's picked up that little ball of fluff there. We'll have that out because don't want to get it too dirty. Inside, well, the cyclone was all typical Vax. It was utterly full of very, very fine dust all over it. So that works a lot better now. The filter has been put through the washing machine and is spotless. And that's about all I had to do. It, it, it was just dirty, really. Oh, get that on. Because the problem with this is, and again, it's typical Vaxing, the the cyclone is terrible. Literally doesn't capture any fine dust at all. All the big stuff will sit in there. The fine dust straight through into the filter. You can see where it had been blowing out the vents slightly. Well, not a lot, but you know, enough to make it dirty really. And it was just awful. Awful, awful, awful. I have one battery that works. I only ever had one battery with this. And obviously, as you know from the other Vax video, they're not the best batteries in the world. Many a tail lithium life battery dying has a bit of a lean to it as well. It always seems to, like all good gentlemen, sit to the right, as it were. And there's nothing wrong with the pivot points down here, so I think that's just how it is. But, yeah, it is done. And done very well indeed. And it's ready for sale. But... It's a shame it doesn't work better because you see the way it, the form factor is lovely because it is just like a normal upright vacuum cleaner. As in all the weight is down the bottom. So you see it's very light to steer. As you know that little old lady that owned the dead one wanted me to fix it because although Vax gave her a brand new blade under the warranty claim she didn't like it because all the weight is in the hand. I find it with the V11. I mean it doesn't bother me as such but it is noticeably there. It is very heavy to hold, whereas this isn't. If they could make this have as powerful suction as, as say, the Dyson V10 V11, which is probably more than doable, if they've put, they've got, they've got so much space in here, but the motor is so tiny, if it had just a couple of hundred more watts, I would say it would be a good contender to relaunch, because not everybody likes stick backs that they have to hold in their hands. This is like a mini battery powered upright. But obviously it will still have the terrible cyclone issues, but that is sadly a back thing where they copy expired patents and don't really do anything with them. So they expired for a reason because, and it's normally Dyson here, moved on. Everybody else picks up the pieces like Dyson and Shark and they're still flawed. It's a big, big shame. Big shame indeed. But hey ho, that's not, whoever buys this won't worry about it. This is going to go up for sale now because I've had this for far too long. I can't even, it came from young Joe 
very nicely. We, we we did some swaps. I can't even remember what I swapped for them now. It, I've had this over about a year now. Um, I really shouldn't have done. It should have been done and sold. But it is now. Very good. We have a nice refurbished refur refurbishment thread to come. I'm just moving it around, really. And yeah. The Vax air cordless duo. My first cordless Vax. I would have another one if it was cheap enough. I presume it's going to sell very well. I'll be honest, if I had use for a small lightweight, you know, just to pick up litter. Not really deep clean. I'll put a drop of oil on those wheels as well. That's the front wheels. You know, they are very good for just lightly whipping around. Highly recommend one. And I do mean that because they are very cheap now. These are quite old and have been more than... I'm amazed I got a brush roll from Vax. More than superseded by everything else, but they are nice. And this was my first. So, there we go, really. Thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.